Starla with ExpressionsVinyl.com. Um, I'm going to show you a tip today on aligning heat transfer vinyl when you don't use the knockout and you don't have layering. And sometimes when you have an image, it's hard to line it back up. So I've got my Caesar Easy Meat Electric Red and I've already taken off the edge here and created my box. So don't throw this away because we're going to use some of that later. Okay. This is my actual image box. I've already gone and weeded out the other pieces. To save on space, I added some arrows and I'll show you how to use those later. But the width and the base is still the same as this box. So let's weed that out. And I've got my heat press warm. I'm gonna warm it back up. And this is one of my favorite tips as well, if it comes in handy for any detailed <coughs> curly images. I'm gonna actually weed it onto my heat press. It's gonna be a lot easier to weed out. There we go. Check that out. Okay. And then just go in and get rid of all these. It's still warm from the heat press, so you can move it. You don't have to leave it on there. all these little pieces okay and if you're not 100% sure if you've got everything just flip it over and it'll give you a better visual and I think I did okay so we're going to pre-press our tea towel that we've got here just kind of smooth out any wrinkles just for a couple seconds like five okay I'm going to take my image with my box and since this is my starter image I'm just going to crease just a little bit so I can see where the center is. Okay. Okay, so about right there. So then hit this for a couple seconds. And before I take this off, I am going to take my scrap pieces from before because you can save these. I think they're a little bit too small for any projects I may or may need them for. It's hard to tell. But you can do skinny ones. I do have some extra skinny ones in case these ones move, but I'm just going to use that carrier sheet as an alignment. So I'm just gonna mark it there. Keep in mind, the next one I'm going to do has my arrow pointing up. So that means that I have to have it towards the top of my weeding box. So I only have to line up the top and one of the sides. You could do this all the way around. I don't think it really matters. And the thicker your pieces are, the easier it is to maneuver them. Okay, so once I've got that on there, I can take this off. Go kind of slow, so just in case you don't have enough pressure or time on that, you don't move anything. And it looks like I'm good. And you can save this one for later, keep it off to the side so you can have a tool later. Okay, now since this had the arrow, I'm going to put it towards the top of my box. And before I press it, don't forget to take that arrow off. Because that's just showing you where you need to put your box. And then just you can leave those boxes on or take them off. I like to take them off because sometimes the press will lift them and sometimes it could lift this too. So I'm going to take your cover sheet, press it again. Okay, 
Now just repeat that. And since this is just so little, I don't need a carrier sheet alignment for my Starks. I know exactly where it's gonna go. You can still use it if you wish, but I don't think it's necessary. have your awesome detail ready for Christmas. If you like this technique, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comments or questions you have below and we'll be happy to help. Have a great Christmas, guys. Bye.